Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna be teaching y'all about genetics. I can see you over there. You're on the edge of your seat. You wanna learn this. So let's get right into it. Alright. Genetics is the study of how traits are passed from parents to children. Traits are things like eye color, height, or dimples. These come from genes, which are made up of DNA. The instructions that tell our body how to grow and work. Each person gets half their genes from their mom and the other half from their dad. That's why you might have your mom's hair, but your dad's smile. This is how genetic information is exchanged, through the combination of eggs and sperm cells. Sometimes during this process, parts of the chromosome swap sections in a process called crossing over. This mixes up the genes and makes uh, each person unique. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Um, that is amazing. Thank you, Odin. To predict uh, what traits a child might inherit, scientists use Punnett squares. This is what a Punnett square looks like. Isn't it cool? Now, here's an example. Let's say that brown eyes are dominant and blue eyes are recessive. Two parents with the uppercase B and the lowercase B have a child. Now, let's put this in the Punnett square. You set it up like this. So we put our uppercase B here and our lowercase B here. Same thing for the other side. Now what we do is we put this B right here, you see, and then the same B on this square. And then we go to the other side of the Punnett square and put the other B in front of the first B. So y'all can kind of get what I'm doing. So we just repeat that process and now we can see what eye color this child might have. So after looking at the Punnett square, we can see that the child has a 75% chance of having brown eyes, but a 25% chance of having blue eyes. Also, don't forget, if the Punnett square contains two letters that are different, that's heterozygous. Heterozygous is one dominant allele and one recessive allele. Now, homozygous is where there's two of the same letter. So you could either have two uppercase Bs or two lowercase b's. Okay, now we're almost done. I just have one more thing to explain and then we'll be finished. The different types of Punnett squares. Now you've already seen one of them. This one is the monohybrid Punnett square. It's a two by two grid and it involves one trait. So for example, eye color. Now here's a different Punnett square, a D-hybrid. This one involves two traits. For example, eye color and hair color. It's a four by four grid and here's how you would use it. Basically the same as a regular Punnett square, just with extra steps. Well, look at that, we made it through the video. Thank y'all for watching uh, this animation that I made. Y'all were amazing. Bye-bye.